This is a video response to Matt. Uh, this is the glue mixture and it is solid when it cools. So we just keep it in the double boiler and warm and then it stays in a liquid state which you can roll on with a roller. So the trick with this stuff is to get it on as thin as possible. If it's too thick it cracks when it dries. So you just kind of pour it on there, roll it on with a roller. Do a thin coat and then let it dry and then reapply. Do another thin coat. Um, I would suggest if you're going to do it, just do a bunch at the same time. Then you have essentially like a bunch of uh, iron-on uh, panels ready for like your scraps of linen or whatever to be applied. And to apply it, I use just a heat gun. And the heat gun is also used in another stage. Beva has some another ingredient, some kind of a binder that keeps it from, from separating. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a little while. This is an example of uh, what happens when it dries if you put it on too thick. It separates like this, like desert mud. So what I like to do to speed up the process between coats is just go ahead and hit it with the heat gun. Try it out, and the heat causes some kind of chemical reaction that bonds or binds it together. So I'll do this and then apply another layer right over the top of it and get a nice good thick layer composed of smaller thin layers. Anyway, after this you're still going to want to let it dry uh, at least overnight before you glue the fabric to it. And here's the uh, another method, so after it's like slightly dry to the touch you can heat it up and then use a squeegee it's hard to do with one hand, but you heat it and then you follow through the squeegee and it uh, gives it a nice smooth surface. So I'll try to do this while the video is going. I think I need a clamp or something. So, let's see if this works. Heat up the area and then Heat and drag, and the excess comes off. Get a nice smooth surface. So I'm going to be less than patient and not wait for the next day. And just apply this. The glue on the uh, piece of plywood is dry to the touch. It's essentially pretty pretty much on there. It still has an odor of chemicals. This is how I apply the fabric. Heat it up nice until it's melted. Lay the fabric right there on that side and push it down. Flip it over and then just heat like one strip and then push it down and let it cool. As it cools, it bonds. It doesn't take very long to cool down. That's essentially how you apply it. That's how it works. So, if you ever need to remove this, you just do it the same way, but in reverse. 
you would like heat up the corner and then lift it off and then heat it like this and keep pulling. It takes a lot of time and patience and uh, if you don't do it right you can put a crease in your painting so it's best for a conservator to do it or a very patient artist.